Hey everyone. Over the last two weeks I've been working on an application that will demonstrate the usage of Amazon Taxtract. Amazon Taxtract is an AWS service, managed service, that provides a rich OCR functionality. Today I will talk about the overall architecture of the implementation of the solution and I will dive deeper into the infrastructure as code. I'm using CDK for infrastructure as code. I will go over it lightly, but if you don't know what it is, I will include all the links in the comments and in the description, and you'll be able to check out uh, the service in more detail. All right, let's get started. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is a very typical architecture when it comes to serverless as sync applications. You upload an image or a document to S3. S3 kicks off a S3 notification that's stored in SQS. SQS kicks off a Lambda function. Lambda function takes that uh, SQS message and analyzes it, uses the tidbits that it needs, and invokes text track. Text track then goes and uh, retrieves the document from S3, analyzes the document, creates another notification, sends it through the SNS topic. The topic uh, stores the notification in SQS. Then another Lambda function is kicked off and it finishes this process by doing whatever it needs to be done, that needs to be done. Uh, you can also see that there's a parameter store and I am. Every single one of those items is using I am in one way or another. Uh, the parameter store is used to store parameter values that are also utilized in downstream services like the lambda uh, functions so instead of hard coding values i just use the uh, ssm parameters it's a very neat trick and uh, uh, it's quite a standard i would say in a lot of cases so definitely something for you to uh, check out all right let's look at the let's look at the code So let's start with the main function. And this main function is declared here. These are the two stacks that I'm concerned with. Uh, you can deploy all, all four of them, but these two stacks is the crux of the application. So if we look at the first one, the upload stack, here's where I create the bucket. Here's where I store the values in SSM. Uh, so the bucket name is stored here. And then, uh, Here's where I set up the notification, the S3 notification, and how I tie it back into the S3 bucket. So, uh, I'm sorry, the SQS, uh, here's where I set up the SQS uh, and how I tie it in into the S3 notification. So this is, uh, let's look at this, create S3 flow. <clears throat> so all it does is, and I assume a lot of defaults here, and yes, the code can be optimized in a lot of different ways, that's not the purpose of this particular demonstration. So here's where I create the queue. Here's where I store the values, the name of the queue and the arn of the queue in SSM. And this is where I tie the queue with the bucket. Uh, and by setting up this uh, add notification and uh, add event notification. Very simple. All right, let's look at Taxtract. So in order for Taxtract, to uh, send a notification to an SNS topic, it needs the appropriate permissions. This is where I declare the permissions, and this is where uh, I um, set things up in order for Textra be, uh, to be able to use the permissions. All right, so this is where I create the topic, store it in SSM. This is where I create the queue, store it in SSM. Uh, this is where I add the, uh, the subscription of the SQS queue to the SNS topic. And this is the IAM role that's required for TaxTrack to be able to push notifications into uh, the SNS topic. So I call it Lambda role here, the variable Lambda role. It doesn't really matter what the variable is. It has nothing to do with the Lambda. Actually, it has exclusive has everything to do with extract and not lambda so just forget the naming here uh, but basically very simple i create the role and uh, i add the policy to this role 
and I store the name of the row here. So that's basically it. And then what I do afterwards is I, uh, well, let me show you here. I uh, then build the package, Maven package, and then I synthesize the package, uh, which creates these four stacks here. So then I can deploy all stacks at the same time using CDK deploy, uh, or I can deploy particular stacks using CDK deploy, let's say, uh, S3 uploads bucket stack. Um, very simple, very straightforward. In the next video, I will go over the Lambda functions that utilize this infrastructure in order to actually store data in S3, as an example, and then retrieve the data from S3, get notified by S3, and then uh, uh, invoke the extract. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, particular video, short overview of the CDK application. If uh, you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, uh, also feel free to let me know which other topics you'd like me to cover. There's a lot of things that uh, you know I can discuss and uh, I have my own interests, but if uh, you have anything of interest, let me know.